of kids in front of the door. So we just took one in. What's your name? Leon. Leon? Leon. Leon. Okay. Welcome, Leon. So, and what are we going to do? Um, some people like to have one eye just, or one fa uh, part of the face just gone, just messy and blood and whatever. So what we do, we just put on the child's blue again on the eyebrow, and then we put a layer of latex, and then we have a nice Thank tissue. You. I love tissues. Just put it on. Let it stick. And so all the things we don't need, we just take it away. Okay. Now there's a little tear here, so we keep that so she so can have some visual. Otherwise it's too scary for a kid. She can walk on. So then we're gonna use latex again. Just go over it a little layer. And is the blood affecting you, Emily? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so. So scary, guys. I know it smells a little bit, the latex, but that's the fun. And just latex and tissues, you just can create nice things. Okay. Uh, on this face, I want to show you something else. We just let this dry. Um, that's called zombie skin. This is like a, a butter of latex, which you can. Can you take another one out of the box? Just put it on, on the face, and just like build it. Just smear it on. You can do like thick blobs. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go. It's okay. You can just deform noses. I know. It's a little bit itchy for kids. Just. This sometimes work quicker. And if you have a, a hair dryer, you can just blow it and it will dry so much faster just than only by air. And what you can do is maybe interesting. Just go off your face very quickly. It's nice See, I clean my hand just by wiping. You can open your mouth. Mm. Very good. See, don't eat it. You want to <laughs> eat? I know you want to eat it. Um. But girls, we can do like a very pretty face, so we do like a makeup on one side and just make an ugly face on that side. That's what maybe for kids interesting. You see a little here, I hope you can see it, there's a little hole. So if you open up your eyes, open your eyes, so you can just look. And, but you don't want to see the skin, so what you do, use your black. And make it the it's eye. It's like my mouth, you guys. Okay, you put a little bit away. Let's make it black inside. Let's make it black. Open up. Okay, open up your eyes. Oh, open. Open. Mm. Yep, it's okay. So hmm. we can leave it so that our eyes will be open, no problem. Make it black, and then around it will go like your butt. Because maybe for kids it's a little bit scary. You never know. Even even for parents. Mm. If you want Little zombie kid. <laughs> See. Yeah. You can, you can open up, see, just put latex, just cover the skin. So the latex will dry itself? Yeah, always. And if you have a hair dryer, you can just make it go quicker. Okay. So.
just create something new. There's something happening here. I don't know what. Um, what else can we do? You can also use, that's interesting, cotton balls. If you have a cotton ball, just put something out. Oh, let it drop, because you want to have it on the face, right? Again, some latex or zombie skin. And you just put it on. Now we're just playing, not making really um, a face, but maybe after the end, the end, there will be a face. It's it's up in 1.6 million viewers at the okay, moment. Okay, so Linda the Mole, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You see, just cotton balls, some latex or zombie skin, and you can make deformations in the face. You can color it also? Yeah, you can color it. If it's dry, you can color it. So there's a little bump here. I don't know where it mm. comes from. I know. I had the same problem. <laughs> so, just now we need to let it dry. Smooth out the little edges everywhere. You have to watch carefully, parents. Okay. But if you want, you can buy prosthetics in the in a store. Um, my advice is, if you use prosthetics, glue them with latex. Um, just put a layer of latex, let it dry, that it's like almost dry. Then put the um, prosthetic on it, and then the edges you can also do with latex. So it like um, smoothens, out. smoothens out. So you don't have like, oh, there's a prosthetic over there, there's some blood. You see the prosthetic? No. Try to make it smooth out so that it's in the face. Yeah, mm -hmm. we get a really scary face. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's getting well, scary. Well, that's your pretty side. That's your pretty side. So you can say hi and then turn around like, hi. Yeah. You see? <laughs> so we do some lipstick. Yeah, lipstick. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> But only one side. Open up your mouth a little bit. Let's see, a lipstick here. And on the other side, we just make it black. Black hole. So everything you make black will just disappear. Yeah, like, well, you see it on your face, like, very... Everything's dark. Scary. Yeah. Part of your face. Now we connect some of the black. And see where it goes. I didn't plan this on front, just... Well, yeah, maybe we can do this. Improvise on the spot. Awesome. We don't know what. Will be scary enough for <laughs> parents. They <laughs> think so. They want to be like, oh, you look so pretty. Uh -huh. Never. Uh -huh. Some red somewhere. So. See the other way. Yeah. 
this. Yeah, okay. That's done. Okay, we have to need this dry. Okay, we have to wait until this one is dry. And then we can put some. Where is it? Nice color on it. How long does it normally take to dry? The depends on the temperature. Okay. And the thickness of the latex or the zombie skin. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it takes too long. <coughs> and we just fill it in with some skin tone foundation. By the end, you'll be messy. That's why I use a little towel to wipe off my hand because otherwise, I have to buy every week new trouser. And that's something I want. So, there it is. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you go outside? You go outside mm -hmm. to scare people? Mm -hmm. Okay. Normally the latex and the zombie skin will be drier, but for now, we do this. And what we can do is make a nice eye design. So you look really pretty on one side, on the other side you're like, oh my god, what happened yeah. to you? <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but we will stay in the colors of Halloween. So we're gonna do some greens and then do some blues. So what are the most important colors for a Halloween look? Uh, well, like that color. So you use, use greens, normal foundation, a light foundation, um, black, white, some yellow, maybe some gray. The purple. Yeah. Okay. So. Some people will recognize this eye design. It's the design of my dear colleague Monique Lilly. She makes such a beautiful eye design. So we cannot copy her, but we can try to make it nice. Her favorite I think so too. So like you're a princess on one side. Pretty I decide. Mm. Well, on the other side. So where are ah, you my brushes? My nice brushes. So we need a very nice line work brush. Mm -hmm. Keep them close. Is always a mess. I think this white. I think this white. 
But at the end, it's the result on the right. face that counts. The messier, the better. Yeah. So don't go to my house. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's nice. What did you do? Just make it pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. So everybody will think, oh, that's a pretty girl. Yeah. And you turn your head around. Mm -mm. <laughs> you will scare them out of them. So, because you like blood, you will get blood too. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes, yes. Okay. You like blood? No? Yeah. Bad luck. Yeah. You're getting blood. Yeah. You want to taste? You can taste. You want more? No! <laughs> we will give you a nice bottle of blood. Okay, mm. here we go. So, I will do the black part, I will do blood. Just to make it simple and quick. Don't eat all the blood. <laughs> your hair it's okay just wash it and turn it out and again we're gonna do some structure on the white so we need some green so just in the ground for like a few years on one side of the face Everything will be scary. Oh my god! Just play around. Black and purple. Just go. Look at your face. Wow! It's nice. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, pretty. Pretty and scary. Same time. So, how many kids are waiting outside? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that much. Oh. For you, they are enough for them. Yeah. So you can go to school now? Yes. Put it on for a week. <laughs> oh yeah, you can holiday. Yeah. Okay. What about the brushes you use, the sponges you use? Yeah. Can you reuse them? Can you uh, wash we, them? Yeah, we wash them. Uh, the sponges, the brushes you use. Um, like special soap, mm -hmm. um, you can use ivory soap. Well, that's only in the US you can buy, but here you have chameleon soap, that's mm -hmm. the best to clean the brushes. Okay. So that's, that's perfect. Okay. And sponges, you just also use the soap or hot water with some washing soap to clean it. If you throw them in the washing machine, it's okay, mm -hmm. but after that, it's hard to work with because they're too dry. Yeah. But if you like 200 sponges, you want to do wash your hands, that's a lot of work yeah. on your own. Mm 
Yeah. So. So it's, well, it's some very simple stuff. You don't have to buy expensive prosthetics. You can just create your own prosthetics with latex, with cotton balls, um, with tissue. Um, and you also, if you want to have like um, a, a skin, just like an infection with all whatever it's like moving, you can use um, uh, oak, oak meal. Mm -hmm. Just put a little yeah. oak meal in the latex and just put it on. You can do, oh, you look pretty. You really look pretty. That yeah. side, well, that side too. But, <laughs> um, but like these bottles, they're not so expensive, but you can do like 20 faces just with this small bottle. Uh, well, there's a lot of blood, I know. You can do a lot of things because you don't need much, just dab it on. Because if you like a lot of blood, it won't give the same effect as a little bit, but for face paint and small things for events. Yeah. So. So thank you so uh, much. Thank you. For the kids, parents. Yeah, nice flowers. Let them see your face like this. Yes.